Hey, and uh, welcome to my tutorial on networking in Unreal Engine 4. Um, we're going to go over um, replicated functions in this first tutorial. We're just probably going to go over one replicated function, then we'll kind of split it up. Um, so before we start, I wanted to tell everyone that I'm using 4.7.2. So I'm on Unreal Engine 4.7.2. Um, this one. So uh, also beforehand, I'm guessing you guys already downloaded Unreal Engine and already got that stuff ready to go, and we'll go ahead. So I'm going to launch 4.7.2, and um, before this, uh, when this thing launches, I'll tell you guys something. But um, all right, so we're going to go new project. I'm going to go C++. I'm going to go third person because um, the those characters like to replicate well and their movements well. Um, I'm going to just, yeah, uh, network tutorial, blah, blah, blah. I'll just do that. Um, one. Um, I'm not, 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 tit. Uh, one. Uh, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to create the project. While it's going, I'm going to show you guys something that you guys really probably should look at. So um, if you can Google, like, uh, Unreal Engine 4 RPC, uh, you'll probably get this. But um, before we go, um, this is um, how you declare uh, network functions. So uh, you, you do the little u function and then client, and then um, there's, there's a little more stuff um, to it that I'll show you guys. But um, And this has changed since uh, 4.6 and below. Um, but this is still good to look at. Um, so when you do the client and the u function, what happens is uh, this will have to be executed on the server, I mean, called on the server, but it will be executed on the client. Um, when you do a server, it's exec it's called on the client and then executed on the server. A net multicast is a little weird. Um, it can be called either on the server or on the client, but it's not very good on the client. Um, so when a net multicast function is, is uh, executed, I am called on a client. It is only executed on the client, but when um, when it's called on the server, it's it's executed everywhere, all the connecting people. It's it's uh, uh, it's executed on this server as well as all the connected clients. Um, so we're gonna go hop in. Um, let's just load it up. I'm just gonna delete this this guy right here. Um, our game mode will automatically load someone up there when we go. Um, so um, we're going to just uh, go up here to play and then go over to number of players, and we're just going to do two. And I just like to do a uh, new uh, editor window, and it'll pop up two. Um, as you can see, um, the client, it, it spawns a server. Uh, if you look up at the top of the window, it says game preview server. So this is the server. Um, this is the host of the game, and then we have the, the client who's connected. Um, you can also do a dedicated server if you want to. I might go over to dedicated servers later and teach you how to build it and put it out. And uh, But we're going to go over here to um, the blueprints, and we're going to go over to my character, the third character person. Um, I'm going to search for, I'm just going to do rep, and this comes up replicated. Um, just to teach you, replicated movement is uh, just make sure that's clicked and replicates. Um, that's all that I really care about. I, by default, it's already done for you, but I wanted to teach you what it is. So replicated movement is just uh, make sure that my character's movement is replicated to the server and then to all the clients or the, the server to all the clients or whatever. And then replicates just does all the, like, the variables and stuff. I, not all, all the variables. I'll teach you about replicated variables in the future. Just it replicates. So just make sure those are done. Um, so we're going to go over here to um, our Visual Studio, and we're going to go over to our source, and we're going to pull up our net tutorial character, and I'm just going to throw this over here so we can see both at the same time. So over here, I'm just going to call, I'm just going to make our function. So you do, um, when you want to declare a, a replicated function, you go, you function, and that pops up. So um, I'm going to teach you a little bit things, but uh, I'm going to hurry and copy this because this is what you guys probably want. So I can teach you. So 
when you declare a U function, you have um, things uh, when you're doing a server. A server, so what I'm going to do is um, we're going to execute on the client and, and go, not execute on the client. We're going to call from the client, be executed on the server. And then on the server, when you call it from the server, the server just executes it. Um, reliable. Uh, what that means is when uh, when the server is doing some really like heavy stuff and a lot of network traffic is going through and a lot of things are going down, um, you want to kind of sort our functions and go which ones are important to me right now and which ones aren't. So reliable just means hey uh, when things are going down, just make sure I'm executed when I can be executed like as fastly as possible, um, because. Like, this is gameplay important, and I should be executed, and I should not be waited on. But, like, if something's just, like, a, like a material change or something like that's not very gameplay important, just do an unreliable, and it will, um, it will just be kind of put on a different, like, stack or something that just... We don't really care about you right now. Other, uh, the reliable fun functions take more precedence over the unreliable ones. And then um, validation... Um, you got to do that with when you're calling a server. It'll I think it yells at you. It used to yell at me, and I haven't checked. But um, with validation, we can check our arguments before we call the server, and um, we can say, "Oh, we really don't need to call the server. This will be just be this will be a waste of time." Um, so let's just do void my. Sorry about that. No uh, server function. I'll just call it func. Um. But also what we need to do is, since it changed in uh, 4.7, um, now we need to do this, uh, void my server func underscore implementation. Oops. Hopefully I spelled implementation right or it's going to yell at me. Um, and, vo oh no, actually, sorry. You need to do a bool. Um, the name of your function, my server function, and validate. So, obviously, um, this is how we call our function. This is where the implementation goes down, where we put all our code that we want. And then the validate is just to validate our, we can check our arguments and see if we want to go to the server or not. Um, so I'm going to come over here. But before we do anything, I want to include something so we, I can grab G engine. So we do include, um, and then we're just going to do engine, whoops, engine.h. And that's all I want you guys to do. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to do void um, a, and that's, I'm just going to grab it up here. I'm lazy. Um, we're just going to grab that. And then my, I'm just going to grab it from over here because I don't want to mess up my typing. I don't want to be bad at this. So I have errors. Um, and then I'm going to, and then I'm just going to hurry and do the, the validate one. Um, and then I'm going to grab this. And then I'm going to grab the validate. But with the, okay, so with the validate, um, I'm not checking any arguments, so just return true. Um, with the implementation, this is where the where the stuff goes down. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to add an on-screen uh, message. So all I have to do is just GE engine because this is what I brought in. Um, um, in my include that I just had you guys do, and then I'm going to uh, add on screen debug message. Oh, um, let, I'll show you. I think I pulled it up. These are really cool. You should look at these. These are um, the on screen message or whatever logs printing messages to yourself during runtime, which is awesome. I'm just going to grab my this one because I just like that. And even you can put variables in it, it's pretty sweet. Um, if you haven't saw that yet. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to say called on client and executed and server suite. So what's going to happen is, um, where did I mess up? Oh, I missed the A. 
Um, we'll go this way. So I'm just going to put it onto one of these functions because this is to our character and um, he's got his move forward function. So whenever W is pressed, we go forward or whatever. So I'm just going to put it in here. Um, so to call, you just do the my server function. You don't have to do the implementation or anything. This, that's how it goes. And we're going to come over here to Unreal and copy. I'm going to delete that. I don't want that. So we're going to wait here and we'll let it compile. So make sure you have two people going. That'll be for sure. Like You'll get a server. Okay, I, I get it. Go away. Um, so yeah. And then we'll wait for it to compile. Sweet. No errors. So we're going to call it. And whenever time I move forward, it's called. Um, so it's called on the, on the, um, it's uh, called on the client and executed on the server. So it does it on both. But let's say I only want the server to be able to to call this this function. Like I don't want the client at all to be able to call this function. So what we can do is come over here to our where it's called and go if role is equal to role authority. So what I'm saying right here is um, I'm asking what role I'm getting what role I am. So if I'm a client, I'm just saying I'm the client and I'm saying uh, am I the role authority? Which role authority means am I the am I the server? So I'm saying, am I the server? If I'm the server, call this function. So I'm going to compile it again, and it should only happen on when I I, I can only execute it on the server. All right, here we go. I'm gonna launch it. Um, so here, I'm on the client. I can't, it's not doing it. I, it just won't do it. And so when I come over here onto the server, it does it, it's sweet. So that's tutorial one today. Um, I'll put up more tutorials when I have time. But yeah, so um, there you go, all right. But where is it?